Hey guys, look back here and welcome to another FIFA 20 video and today guys we are doing the 86 plus upgrade pack once again uh, it is the new content that EA have given us today I don't believe they've given us anything else uh, I will have a quick look just before we open up the pack although I'm going to actually have to open up the pack first unless I can kind of back out of the screen I think I can just back out here which we can but yes we'll open up that pack in a second hopefully my look from the 86 plus player pick pack will be better than last time the best rated player I got was like 88 crows or something like that. Uh, I didn't get a great selection last time, but um, a few other things. Maybe is that a new Delhi SBC there for the UEL half time? Maybe it is. I think it is. Uh, of course, there's some more uh, Europa League games on tonight. Wolves against Sevilla probably being the more highlighted of the two fixtures. And it doesn't seem like there's anything else. No uh, new player SPC, no new road to the final cards. I'm not even going to check objectives because I doubt there'll be anything there whatsoever. But we're going to open up this pack and hopefully get something good. Also, guys, I'd like to say a massive thank you for the support on the last video. A lot of people seem to really, really enjoy it. Um, so I might do maybe a couple other videos in the next few weeks covering those new icons um, because I'm just very excited about those coming to FIFA 21 but anyway have you guys done the upgrade pack once again and did you guys get anything good from it let me know in the comments section so I believe it's four players that we get to choose from let's get at least 90 rated that would be fantastic let's see something good I don't think we can get icons I'm pretty certain oh it's not bad it's not bad 91 Diego Carlos if I hadn't got him it would have been like once again a a, a terrible pack it would have been Tony Cruz once again as the highest rated cards yes obviously a little bit more cooler this time with the two Europa League cards but a 91 rated Diego Carlos I, I'm trying to get excited about this card I mean actually he's a fantastic pull he's only 91 rated which actually is on the lower end of team of the season rated cards he isn't necessarily the highest rated but actually in terms of his stats, he's one of the better centre-backs in the game. 90 pace, uh, 93 physical, very nice defending as well. Amazing dribbling, uh, good height, nice work rate at the same time. That is a lot better than last time in terms of a pack look there, which is fantastic. Is this one worth doing? I mean, it's an 84-rated pack. Um, sorry, an 84-rated team that you do have to put in with just low chemistry and also one special card, whether it be a man of the match, a team of the season, an inform, whatever you fancy. So, uh you know, I've said this before, I'll say it again, we're at the point of FIFA now where literally the game is so dead. We'll probably be getting the beta soon over the next few weeks. So for the, you guys that are lucky to be, able, to be able to receive that codes, you'll be playing the beta a lot. You know, for the most part, though, obviously with four guys coming out recently as well. And there's just not really much reason to play FIFA 20 at all, to be honest. So well, I do encourage everyone, if you can do these SBCs, just do them. You might get like an insane player, you might get like a Messi, a CR7 uh, or something like that. But we will take Diego Claus there and 91 rated. Very nice. I hadn't actually packed him as well up until this point. So the first time I've got him this year, uh, which is fantastic. So I don't think I can complain too much with that pack. But anyway, guys, hopefully you have enjoyed watching this video. And I'll see you guys later.